Okay, sorry about that. Um, I didn't have much space left on that um, tape, so I had to kind of delete some other stuff that was on there that I didn't know was there. And another thing, excuse all this on here. I have this piece of paper that I keep on here that I doodle on here sometimes, but most of the time my kids come in here and write all on here or draw pictures. Um, so anyways, yeah, I was talking about the um, handle. Um, you put the handle on with the brad. And also, I think earlier I mentioned something about using an eyelet on here. You use brads in here, not an eyelet, of course. Another thing I wanted to say that comes in the set is there's some um, a square sheet that actually will fit in the bottom of here. So if you want to change the color that's here, or better yet, if you want to get a piece of thin cardboard, because you know you're going to be putting heavy stuff in the box, you can go ahead and put adhesive on there and then stick it down in the inside and it just makes it even that more heavier. And the set comes with um, a few different dividers that you can put in here. And here's one of them. And this particular one, they all are, they're all perforated. And basically you kind of fold the middle one in there and then you fold the other line and let's see, the other one, kind of like so. And then it would go fit inside the box. This particular one actually is folded for you to put um, A2 size cards here and then you can put miscellaneous right here. So there's one within the middle and there's one that goes long wise. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it. Um, there's some other little like, um, this box is crazy looking. There's some other little like strips that you can put on here for decoration to decorate your box. So since I kind of showed you how to put it together, let me show you again the one that I finished. Um, there's also a luggage, a luggage tag you can make. And see this has um, it kind of just like a regular luggage tag at that. Paper just comes out and in. There's some um, with little sentiments like the name of the dress. Um, I think like a globe and it's like six or seven or eight of them. Um, tag. So you would cut this out first and then you would print out this, um, the wording, and then you stick it on the little sheet and then just slide it in. But anyways, I had um, actually used ribbon going around it, as you can see. Kind of go around the back there. And then I put a little bit of lace on it. And I used, um, I did all of my paper hardware in craft paper because I love the look of craft paper. So my handles and, and craft and I did a little sewing there. And then I used the copper looking color brads on the edges. And this is the one I was talking about that was the um, half one. See how this is the uh, bigger one and this is just a half. And then let's see, I used uh, my EK Success scallop punch that I'm getting this on the camera good that just kind of went around the whole um, box and I used um, and here's my little latch I kind of put a little bit of pearls on the top and it kind of opens like this and you kind of got a because I got a pearl down on there so let me kind of do it like this added a little pearl on the edge and when you open mine it also the template also comes with some pockets that you can put there so I put a one of the pockets on there and then there's like a smaller pocket and a taller pocket up there and I have um, used the middle divider in mine and um, I think that's about it so anyways, um, you'll see once you see all the pieces, it's pretty straightforward to put together. I will say you're going to need about at least three sheets of um, 12 by 12 paper to do your sides and stuff. Because since you're folding them, you know, doubling them, you need to use more paper to do that. Um, well, that's about it. Thanks a lot for 
sticking with me with this video. Sorry that I had to cut it in half and see you over at the Cutting Cafe. Bye-bye.